Yeah, so it's this game right here, right? Um, Card Captor Sakura Memory Key. So we talked about this game a couple of a couple of weeks back. It first came out, and the gameplay wasn't that interesting, right? I saw it and I'm like, okay, this is a very bare bones, basic TB style game. Now I remember watching Card Captor Sakura when I was a kid. I think, right? It appears alongside with Dragon Ball, like back to back. So sometimes I watch it, right? Um, it is a kind of an interesting one. So these are the character models. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys the battle, right? This is okay. This is how the battle is like. So in case you guys are wondering, you only use one character. It seems like, and you use the skill, right? Okay, this is the gameplay, right? Just to briefly show you. Wow. So I guess it's simple. You can see it's like just one character and there's only one enemy, right? Simple enough. So uh, apparently the game right now has a big drama going on. So the drama is apparently this game is a scam. Can you guys believe it that this game is a scam? So card captor Sakura Memory Key screwed their global services during October 12th and 13th. They forget to pay a bill domain. Okay, so this is my first time. Uh, Belly Talk. Kakata Sakura is niche anime. Okay, my uh, the whole experience, the whole situation, and many because of quit because of this were quit. This is not a review. All right. Uh, I started on September 12th when the global server opens. The game was full of bugs. Text barely fitting in the text or right out missing. C CCS were actually so needy for more content of our favorite show. We let it slide for a bit. October 12th, uh, everything went horribly wrong. Suddenly, we are all getting this message. A new version of the game is available. Tap OK to download the latest version. So, I saw a YouTube video. I cannot open Cardcaptor Sakura anymore. Right here, right? So you get this message. Uh, they will ask you, you want to play the game? Download the latest version from the Play Store, right? A new version is uh, available. It will bring you to the Play Store. Oh, you can't. And then if you go to the Play Store, there's nothing. So you can't do anything. You can't play the game anymore. There's no maintenance announcement. I can't open the app or update it. Huh. It's been six hours. Uh, it's fixed for now. We can open the game now. Uh, the reason why people can't get into the game uh, on Facebook, it was because the domains, domain bills weren't paid. So this is the first time I've heard of this. Domain bills weren't paid, right? I've never heard of this before. Uh, luckily, it's not really a scam, right? In Discord and Facebook, uh, a few hours passed, nothing has said, someone posted this. Uh, update, unfortunately confirms my own post, domain is officially on sale, it expired yesterday. We cannot play because the domain isn't redirecting to any of the servers as it is on sale. Chances are they forgot to pay for it or change billing information and forget to change it for the domain bills. Make use of this info as you wish. So you can see right here, this is going to be the, the domain name. And then you can see from Facebook, is it? Huh. Panic arise, everyone was scared. What is going on? This is the first time I've ever seen myself in a problem in a gacha game like this. Domain being expired. I've never seen that before. This is actually the first time. Uh, but if you are running like an online game, you have to always pay for the server fees and stuff, right? Obviously. I assume that's a thing. Especially since this just happened just after a 7 star banner was released. Limited time banner. For context, 7 star banners are paid only. All characters including the 4, 5, 6 and 7 stars can only be summoned in this banner. Paid only banner? Pay to win. Ah. We have the only paid banner released, the servers being down, domain expired, suddenly change email contact, no notice, no support from the company. We got all into a, we all got into a conclusion that this game was a scam. People started doing refunds, left and right. So many refunds. I'll ask notify all of them every day until I get my money back or the game is back. 
My heart is crushed. Main card captor Reddit has a post asking for refunds. It's now start your chargebacks. They didn't pay the bills for their domain. The seven star was definitely a Hail Mary to get whatever they could out of Wales. Uh oh. Uh oh. Status overdue. Country Hong Kong. Uh oh. There was a radio silence for more than 24 hours. Some people couldn't enter the game for 25 or 26 hours. No one in the company talked. No one knew if this was fake, a scam. How could this happen? We did receive an answer from the dev team, but it was already too late. We are currently investigating the cause of the login issue and will fix it as soon as possible. Too late. Too late, guys. That's what happens. Now, let me guess. Did this happen on the Sunday? Sunday, the developers aren't working. So by the time, maybe it happened on Saturday, they respond on Monday. This is the problem. A lot of people don't work, a lot of developers don't work on Saturday, Sunday, right? And then they don't really keep up with these kind of things. And then this is going to be something that uh, is going to be an issue. By the time you respond on Monday, it's too late. Especially for games, you always have to make sure to... I know that, you know, it's hard for people to work seven days a week, but for something like a live service games, it's very important, man, because like, Every day matters. Especially weekends is where more people play your game actually, right? If you take a break as a developer, I think that's kind of sucks, right? Because like if there's a big issue going on, I remember like previously, I'm going to bring up a game called PGR. This, hap this happened as well. It was during the Friday. Uh, the game released around Thursday or Friday. And then Friday around there, there's uh, the uh, $1 drama. The one dollar drama. I don't know if you guys know. And then Saturday, Sunday, no response because it was a weekend, right? And then only Monday they responded. So in a, a lot of players' eyes, they don't think, oh, it's a weekend. They look at it and like, okay, developers respond slow. They don't care about us. I think most players think that way. So uh, it sort of hurt your credibility as a whole. Uh, and I know like most people probably don't think that far, but yeah, I think uh, I noticed this this pattern especially, right? Especially when a thing happens in. If you notice like. If a, if a F up happened during like a Saturday, Sunday, and the developer usually respond late by Monday or Tuesday, it's usually like, at that point, you already lost a little bit of credibility. Operation teams are usually 24-7 standby. Operation team are usually 24-7 standby, but the, the $1 drama for PGR back then was, uh, they just needed to respond and say, hey, we, we, we heard you, we will get back to you, right? They just have to like, push that out on social media. They don't have to like, fix it immediately, right? Like this one as well, right? You don't have to fix the issue immediately, but you at least have to update the player, say, okay, we are aware of the issue. We will fix it as soon as possible. To let people know, to give people reassurance, right? Because if you don't type this at all, people already assume you are a scam. You are a scam, right? People already assume that because like you ignore everyone and if people don't hear you from for 24 hours, especially in the context of internet, right? It's, it's very, 24 hours could be very, very long. The meme vids are wild though, it is. So yeah, because of that, people already lost faith in the company. Multiple people quit, refund their money. I don't know how much this may cost, the gacha, but I cannot see the gacha going for much longer. This game made about 500k last month, but with this problem, it seems dark for future for global servers. And it seems the effects for it are seen immediately as they announce the next banners are reruns of all the past banners of global server, which means six all at the same time. Damn. One, two, three, four, five. So because everybody refunded all the money and considered this game a scam, now they got no choice but to basically fix, to basically re, not fix, to recuperate. They have to rerun all six banners that they have done since launch. That sucks, man. That sucks. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's more of a reason to hire AI. AI will change everything. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe AI is good for this kind of thing, right? AI is good for this kind of thing. Uh, people already lost faith to the company. Oh man, that sucks, man. That kind of sucks. 
This is uh, the story of how an already dubious gacha screwed to make a bit of money by not doing something extremely unprofessional. I talked to other friends about it, including my dad who is a CEO, and not paying bills for something already set red flags, especially for a gaming company. Let's take a guess. Do you think they will rise up and keep going? Or have they screwed up just after a month of release, and this game will not last any much longer? It seems like I need to wait for a nice card captor Sakura gacha to fill my needs, or just wait to Madoka etc to cover the magical girl gacha game aspect. Okay. I see how that is. I see that kind of sucks, but okay. I, I kind of understand. I kind of see from the perspective, right? <clears throat> that is going to be an issue. That is going to be an issue. Alright. We starving CCs are kind of crazy. Huh. Yeah, this is unfortunate, right? Uh, it just hurts your... Especially your game is so small, right? You're not Hoyo, you're not like a big major company and this happens to you, it kind of sucks. It's going to be hard to recover from this. And people might even remember your... Uh, what is the name of the company, right? People might even remember it, it's called HeartsNet. People might even remember it and whatever game they make in the future, they might just, you know, remember it as it is, right? So that kind of sucks. <clears throat> 